Hi there. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Deep Freeze Cloud and specifically how you can integrate that with Deep Freeze Mac. Now, one of the things that we did when we moved into the cloud was we definitely wanted to make this whole thing like platform agnostic so you can manage all your stuff from a single pane of glass. And as part of that, we do support managing our Deep Freeze Mac product through our Deep Freeze Cloud service. Now, the advantage to doing this is that it allows you to you know, get control of it from anywhere in the world, like in thaw machines, freeze machines, run software updates, all sorts of live actions with them, anywhere in the world, just with a click of a mouse, without having to you know, log into my network and do a bunch of other heavy lifting. Now, in the Deep Freeze Cloud, the Mac stuff is treated much the same as the Windows stuff. So under the Policies tab here, what I would do is I would go in and create a new policy for my Mac to allow me to set whatever options I need on the system. So general settings, we have a heartbeat that determines how often the machine's going to check in if it's just sitting idle. Uh, by default, that's set for every four hours, but every time a machine's rebooted or starts up, we'll check in and see what's going on at that point. Uh, under the Deep Freeze Mac page here, this defines all of the settings that you're going to see in the Deep Freeze Mac product and how they're going to interact with the system and how it's going to do its thing. So as you can see here, I can set my user passwords. I can decide what drives are thawed or what drives are frozen. So if, for example, I have a data volume on my system. I can now add that as a thawed volume on the computer so that I don't have to worry about, you know, whether or not my users have a safe place to save their data. It is specific to the volume name, and if we don't find that volume name, we're just going to freeze the volume. So you want to make sure that you've got these kind of pinned down and you know what your users have named them or what you've set them to. Uh, we can also configure maintenance events here as well. And if you're familiar with the Deep Freeze Mac product, this is going to look really familiar with you. We basically allow you to schedule tasks to run software updates, run scripts on the machines. Um, we do have a separate video where we show you how to do this on the Deep Freeze Mac side of things. And again, it's pretty much the exact same functionality here, just in the web. And we have a few other advanced options here, again, very similar to what we have on the Mac side. Um, we have the option to hide frozen thought icons in the system, whether or not we badge the frozen partition, whether we restart on log off or not. Um, and we have also have an option here to, to help our existing Deep Freeze Mac customers, because what we can do is, if you've got Deep Freeze Mac on your computer, what we can do is grab control of that install, take it over so that it, you don't have to go through and remove the existing copies of the software from your systems and then deploy a fresh copy if you're trying to migrate over. Uh, what will happen is this will just take over licensing and tie it all into the cloud piece if it finds the older ver or the, the on-premise version of the software installed. This does require a fairly recent ver version of Deep Freeze Mac to be um, able to take effect, but if you're running like Sierra, Hi Sierra, you should be okay with that. Now, the question is, how do we get this tied in? Well, what I need to do is I just need to download my cloud agent for the Mac, and that's done just clicking on the Install Cloud Agent button here, and then selecting my platform as Mac OS. And then what I can do is I can select my group, select my policy, and then I can either download the installer directly here, or I can get a URL that I can pass out to my users to, you know, go, hey, go install this. Um, if you're in the middle of a deployment, it could be an interesting test to see how many of your users will just randomly install something that you email them, uh, you know, just for laughs. Anyway, once you've got that download completed, we go back to our Macs and we want to now do the install. And what you're going to see is on the Mac, once it's downloaded and unzipped the files in there, you're going to see that there's two files. There's the cloud agent package and this plist that's associated with it. Both these files need to be present. And to do the install, we just run the cloud agent package. Select the option to continue. And basically just step through the prompts. Now, if you've watched our previous video on configuration of Deep Freeze Mac, You'll notice this didn't ask you for any licensing information because that's all pulled from the cloud directly. So you don't have to worry about having to punch in your license keys or any of that jazz. Now that this is completed, what's happening now is the cloud agent in the background is going to now phone home to our cloud services, report in, and start being able to be managed from our cloud infrastructure. So if we flip back to the cloud, what we can do is we can click on the computers page over here. And what we will see in my list of machines is we will now see my MacBook Air showing up here. 
And right now it's still in the process of, you know, kind of reporting in and showing up with everything there. But once that's all taken care of, it'll start reporting status and I can take actions on it. So if I want to, you know, restart or shut down the machine, I can do that from here. Um, I can, there's a few other various live actions that I can take. Uh, and if I want to make any changes to the configuration settings on the machine, I can do that just by editing my policy and saving that policy so that it's applied to the client machine. Now there are a couple settings that you can't alter directly in the, um, in the policy itself. Uh, if you look at the client machine or you're familiar with Deep Freeze Mac, what you're going to notice is that on the client machine, there are settings in here around the configuration of user mapping, your thaw spaces. These we can't control or configure through the cloud policy because we don't know what exists on the far side of the machine. So we allow you to configure that after the fact on the local machine here uh, and set that up as, on an as needed basis. If you've got any other questions regarding any of our products, specifically the Deep Freeze Mac, its integration with the cloud and how it ties all together, please feel free to give us a shout. Um, if it's a technical question, the support team's more than happy to help you out. Just give them a shout, support at pharonics.com or hit our support portal at support.pharonics.com. Um, otherwise, if you've got any other questions around, you know, or you want to set up a demo, feel free to reach out to us and let us know and we're more than happy to get you set up for that. Thanks very much. Hope you found this video, if not entertaining, at least educational. And uh, have yourself a wonderful day and thanks for watching.